Ah, I see you've happened upon this video. I have one starter question for all you students out there. Have you ever found yourself utterly and completely bored in a classroom? To be fair, this question is redundant. Come on, let's give this video a watch. We have three options for you. Let's say this is you, and I'm your conscious. Let's get started. One, take a nap. Now before we go into how to take a nap, the most important step is picking your seat. Go ahead. Wrong. There we go. You need to properly position yourself when taking a nap so that your lovely professor won't spot you out. So, we begin with the classic one arm. Place your non-dominant hand across your brow with your elbow securely placed on the desk. Good. Now, with your writing hand, place a pen or pencil in it as if you're about to take notes. Now that's the stance. Sweet dreams, bored student. Two, doodling. There was a study once saying doodling makes you pay attention more to what the professor is saying than just sitting and staring ahead. Is that true? I don't know either. But if you get caught doodling, you can always tell your professor about the study. Now, doodling is a forgiving art form. You don't have to be da Vinci to doodle, so go for it. To hide your masterpiece, if or when your professor walks by, flip over to some actual notes you might have taken. Beautiful. You're ready to learn option three. Three, staring contest. Now, for a staring contest, you don't necessarily need a willing participant. It can be any person who happens to catch your gaze when you start scanning for your prey. You can do a blank stare, a wink, flirt a little, or a lot. Lastly, a simple raise of the eyebrow. Make sure throughout this whole game of cat and mouse you keep an eye on the professor so you don't get caught making faces. Use these options wisely and Godspeed, bored students. Godspeed.